there be fire. Ah. Hey creatures, today we are cooking in the kitchen on Do It Yourself Wednesday, except we're not really cooking. So, let's talk about what we are doing. We do need that pot though, so don't get rid of the pot. But what we're gonna be making today is some homemade lip balm. So I'm gonna be using African raw African shea butter, the white kind, not the yellow kind, because there are no dyes in this one. I am also going to be using black castor oil because I am out of um, olive oil at the moment, and I don't have time to go to Walmart and get olive oil. <laughs> um, and we are also going to be using some beeswax. So, yeah, let's get started. What you're going to want to do is fill this pot up with agua, and I will do that right now. After you have filled the pot with agua. Oh, right, I'm also going to be using vanilla extract. I don't know if I mentioned that. But just to give it some flavor. I normally use almond extract, but um, I do not have it. So we are going to use vanilla instead. Um, yeah, so you want to bring the water to a boil. And while that is happening, I am going to look for a glass cup because we are going to be doing a sort of double broiler method today. So, hold on for a second. While we wait on um, the water to start boiling, we're going to prepare our ingredients and put them in our glass cup. So, yeah. So what you're going to do is take about a tea tablespoon of um, beeswax. And I've done it a few times, so I already know how to eyeball it. Um, you also can never have too much beeswax. I will let you know that right now. Well, you can, um, because then it will be more candle-like than um, chapstick-like, and that will not help you when you need something for your lips, so... This is about how much you're going to need. And you also want to just break that up a little bit before you put it in. You can see it's in the cup. It's so nice. You are also going to take, I'm going to do this one first because you actually spoon it in. You're going to take about half a tablespoon of the shea butter and put it in there. Oh, I added too much. You don't want to add too much because then it'll just be a little bit too oily. Um, and then you want to add in about half of the oil. That should be more than enough. Because again, you don't want to add too much. Because it'll be too oily. And because we all know that castor oil tastes pretty terrible, we're going to add in some vanilla extract just to make it a little bit brighter for our lips. Yeah. Oop, that is way too much. So only add a little bit of that. Like, you only want to add in, like, half of a tablespoon. Well, you know what? There are no mistakes in life, only happy accidents. We have Bob Ross, everyone, to thank for that inspirational quote. And now, I believe our water is boiling. So, let's move this party on over to the stove. Alright, so you can clearly see that the water is boiling. I'm going to turn the heat down just a smidgen. 
And then I'm going to add in my couple stuff, literally going to put it right there in the pot. And I'm going to stir everything. Oh, it looks like it's centered. That's kind of hilarious. But um, I am just casually going to stir everything. And I'm going to hold the camera like so. Well, that's not working. So yeah, so it is currently melting. It's melting. And I will be back in a few seconds um, when all the beeswax is melted down and I will show you how it's looking. So I'm back again and a teeny little amount of progress has been made. Um, it looks kind of crazy right now. So I'm gonna just stir that up. You do want to be careful because it's kind of hot. Um, you'll mostly feel the steam though so it won't be too bad. I'm just gonna mix that up. Ooh, hot. That is hot, daddy. That's hot. First creature who guesses that reference gets a shout out on my Instagram. <laughs> Alrighty, and once again, some progress has been made. It is basically melted down. As you'll notice, I'm going to use an oven mitt this time to uh, stir the pot because this is kind of obnoxiously hot, okay? So you want to put an oven mitt on when you do this. Um, so yeah, everything is all melted down, meltidiliosious, and now we are going to take it off the heat um, and pour it into our container. Alright, so there is our container. We're going to turn the heat off first. We're turning it down low because you need the water to be as hot as possible. So now you are going to carefully remove the mixture from the heat and then I'm gonna grab another oven mitt because I know who I am. Now if you know how you are and you know that you're going to be tempted to pick it up with those hands you should grab two oven mitts like I have done and then you want to just pour it in and that's also why I don't like using um, vanilla extract because that nonsense happens. So I'm just going to bring it all over to one side. Try to mix it as best as I can. And I'm also going to leave it tilted over because it is a really big bowl. I thought it was smaller. Good enough. Now, for cleanup, we're gonna bring that, this hot cup over to the sink. And you guys are gonna come with me to the sink. There is the cup over by its lonesome. We're gonna zoom in a little bit. And then we are going to take the pot of water. This just makes cleanup a lot easier. And we're going to pour it right in there. And then immediately we're going to pour it right back out. And then you can wash it. And that just makes cleanup a lot easier because um, you take care of the buildup and everything. So... Um, my mixture is hardening right now, and it's okay if it looks kind of crazy. Um, this is how it's supposed to look, and I will be back when it is fully cooled and fully hardened. Okay, so I figured I should probably get this on camera, because I've been mashing it for the past few minutes. Um... When it's fully hardened, it'll look the way it looked pretty much when I was popping it in the freezer. So I basically just broke it up into little pieces and I've been mashing it together. Um, this 
step is optional but I like to do it because I feel like it brings back more it brings in more of a um more of a chopstick kind of feeling whereas if you leave it there you've got to work harder to get it on your lips so yeah I have just been smashing and mashing for the past few minutes um and if you have trouble smashing and mashing just work at it for a few minutes it took 10 for me before it got to this consistency but I'm still not technically or not totally um, happy with the consistency yet so I'm just gonna keep on mashing until I get it the way I want to and I also started mashing it to get um, the vanilla spread out evenly um, because it was just kind of in one little spot and I didn't want to taste castor oil um, yeah, so I'm just going to mash and smash, and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, I do have it on my lips. Um, it's very easy to put more on. I'm grabbing some from the spoon right now, and this is how it looks. And then you just run it on. I got it a little bit too much. A little goes a long way, guys. Um, yeah, so you just put it on your lips, and I grabbed way too much. And I have to be sure that that's not going to fall. But a little bit goes a very long way. And I have no idea how I look right now, guys. So if I look crazy, just bear with me and still love me because I love you. Yeah, so like I said, a little bit goes a long way. Um, it does have a little teeny bit of a whipped consistency. That's with it. I'm going to invent some like super small whisks so that we can whisk really small amounts of things. But this is how it looks. It looks like a scoop of peanut butter. It does not taste like peanut butter, but that would be pretty cool. So, um, new developments will be back for those for peanut butter lip balm. Thanks so much for watching, creatures. If you do watch this video and if you do decide to make one of your own, um, definitely record it. Post it in the video comments down below if you want to. Um, and take a picture of it. Hashtag Keys Creatures on Instagram and tag me. And I will tag you back. Um, that's not how it works, though. I probably won't tag you back. I will comment, though. And um, the most creative pictures I will post on my Instagram. So, yeah. Um, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next Wednesday.